use the word bet when taking some kind of a risk or when gambling. You can also use bet when you take a position or you have a belief. When used as a verb, the simple form is bet. The past tense is bet. The past participle is bet. And the present participle is betting. The word bet has a short E sound. Bet. Compare the pronunciation of bet to these other words. Bed. Bat, bad, bet. How much do you bet? In this question, here's the helping verb for the present tense, and the main verb is in the simple form. This kind of a question can be asked when talking about an amount of money. You can also use it when talking about chance. Bet is often used for gambling or risking money. He bet on a, and then here could be the thing. He bet on a horse, for example, if it's horse racing. Or if it's the stock market, then you'd say he bet on a stock and made a lot of money. This can change to lost. He bet on a stock and lost a lot of money. They bet everything they had on their... And then here is the thing that they took a risk on. They bet everything they had on their business. Or it could be they bet everything they had on their house. Or when people move to the United States, you'll hear someone say, they bet everything they had on their new life in the United States. This is a common thing that people do when they move here. They bet everything they have on this. And it usually works out pretty well, but sometimes it doesn't. People generally take a lot of risks. They bet on an outcome. They bet on a result. They bet on future results. Bet is often used when guessing about some future activity. In that case, you can use the present tense or the future. And when this is used, the subject is often I. If you're talking about what you think will happen in the future, just start with I bet or I'll bet. I bet it doesn't happen. I bet this will be expensive. And here's the future. I'll bet it rains tomorrow. This is a guess. Do you think this will work? And the answer to this question could be, I wouldn't bet on it. This is very similar to saying no. Or you could say no. I wouldn't bet on it. This is the same as if you were to say, I don't think it will work. I wouldn't bet on it. I don't think it will work. Or you could say, don't bet on it. Again, this is very similar to if you said no. In this sentence, bet is a noun. Here's the subject. This is a verb. This is the noun. It's an object in the sentence. He placed a bet on a, and then 
here would be the thing on a stock in the stock market. Or it could be when gambling, he placed a bet on a horse. In either case, both of these involve taking risk. The verb placed can also be replaced with made. He made a bet on a stock. It's the same thing as saying placed. He placed a bet on a stock. A person who thinks that a risk is a good risk with a good outcome might say something like this. This is a good bet. That's a safe bet. Or that would be a good bet. You'll often hear someone say, you bet, when they mean, you're welcome. So, in this simple exchange, one person says, thank you, and the other person says, you bet. Instead of saying, you're welcome, the response is, you bet. Or, this, you betcha. You betcha comes from, you bet you, but nobody says this. Instead, these two words go together, they're contracted, and it sounds like betcha, you betcha.